Welcome to another how-to video presented by Digital Content Alchemy. This is Mark Horn and in this video I'm going to show you how to create social media lists. And we're going to cover five specific platforms. We're going to look at Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. All the social platforms where you can create lists. And I want to show you how similar the process is. So when you learn to create a list in one of these platforms, you'll likely have all the skills that you need to create create social media lists on any of the platforms. The big thing is though, why would you create social media lists? Well, there's some great reasons to create lists. Number one is it saves you time. And that's the biggest complaint that most business owners have about social media is the amount of time that's involved in getting into social media and uncovering the conversations that you want to be a part of or that you want to monitor and pay attention to. When you, when you have a social media list, you can go directly to that list and instantly see what you want to see, whether it's something that you may be monitoring as a conversation or a hashtag that you may be paying attention to, so that you can further your cause, so that you can get the results that you want quicker and get into those conversations quicker or you know be a part of the conversation that can happen. So it saves you time. Number two, it's a valuable research resource. Creating social media lists gives you the opportunity to monitor areas that you're researching. Like I mentioned before, you may be researching a hashtag and the conversation that's going on around a relevant hashtag. Or you may have influencers that you want to keep track of what certain people are saying in certain areas in social media. So it's a valuable research resource. And number three, it contributes to network growth because you can monitor the conversations and you can see where those relevant conversations are and you can maybe start a conversation of your own or better yet become a part of a conversation that's already going on which gives you the opportunity to connect with people and remember there's people on the other side of each of those social media profiles so you can connect with those people and likely build your network in that way. So, like I said, we're going to get into five different social media platforms. Really, we're going to get into the how to create the list, not so much the strategy end of it. Click the link that you see where you're watching this video for more information on implementing a social media list strategy to get the results from the effort you invest in social media for your business, passion, or purpose. So let's get into it. Let me show you how to create lists on social media. So to start our list building how-to, let's start with Facebook, one of the most popular, if not the popular, social media platform on the web. There are a couple of different ways that you can create lists that you can monitor in Facebook. And this is just the basic news feed. You can see this is my basic news feed. This is not anything to do with a page. This is the free account everyone has with Facebook when they log in. So what I'm seeing here, let's scroll down and I'll show you how we can create a feed or a list based on pages that we like and if you go down here to pages and click on pages you can see what's going to come up are different pages that you like and that's an entire list you can see this one's quite extensive you may not like as many pages as I do in my account but let's look at this very first one spiritual life productions and let's do this let's hover over spiritual life productions and then what we want to do is we want to add spiritual life productions to an interest list so let's create that and let's say hey you know what let's add it to a new list so there's spiritual life productions go down here click on next and then That'll give you a chance to choose a name for your list. And let's just call this test one. You have the opportunity to create this list and you can make it public where everybody on Facebook would likely have access to it if they could find it. You can make it just for your friends or you can keep it just for yourself. It, let's do this one just for ourselves because we're doing research and we may not want everybody to have access to what we're researching until the time is out there. So let's call that done and see what our next step is. So we can see that Spiritual Life for Productions has been added to test one and let's go back down and look at our interest and let's bring up the 
interest list again and it's going to show those three lists of interest pages and public figures which Facebook created inspiration and test one that I just created we can go to any one of those and Facebook will show us just what is going on in that feed for example here's the pages and public public figures and you can see there's a list there of people who are celebrity or authors uh, of course the owner of Facebook is there mr. Mark Zuckerberg so that's how to use that another great place Place to create lists that you can monitor and follow conversations is right up here by your friends tab go over here to more and that will show you the different lists that are currently associated with your friends in Facebook now some of these are created based on your profile by Facebook and then others like this one that I have here these are my friends in Austin and then family and then people I graduated with you can create a list from here to monitor something so let's see what we can do let's name the list let's name the list test two and who would I like to add to the list so I can add in here I can type in names of friends and let's put in uh, my buddy Chuck see if uh, if, he, if he comes up there's Chuck we'll put Chuck in there and let's also add some other Texas friends some people I know that I in the marketing side hey you know why not so you can add people to this list that way and then create the list and the list is then created so you can see what it automatically goes over to is that test two list which it shows as a custom list and the people that it's showing me in this feed are only those three people so I'm seeing what they put up in that uh, it, lately on Facebook using that particular feed so that's Facebook very similar mechanisms are going to follow along as we go through so let's head over to Google Plus one of the newer social media platforms that you might want to use and here again this is my default page when I log into Google Plus this is what I see well, what I'm going to do to create a list is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to people and that's going to bring up people that Google Plus suggests that I follow but I'm going to go over here to your circles and this is going to show me the circles that I have and you can see these are the circles that I have and if I want to create a circle I simply click here and by creating a circle I'm creating a list so let's give it a name and let's call it test three and let's create the uh, well let's add some people to it first let's see who we want to add to this let's say uh, just some people off of the top there's Alan I'll, I'll add Alan to this list and then I can add other people to this list or I can wait and Google Plus will show me suggestions for what I who I might like to add to this list so let's go ahead and add Mike into the list and Mike's on there and then let's add Tom B and of course no list is complete without Seth Go and let's create that list and you're going to see the list is going to populate and it has been created right there test three now if I want to see what's going on in the stream of test three I put my cursor over test three I right click and it's going to let me have a view of that particular stream and what the most recent posts are that those particular three people that I have or those four people I have in my stream have put out into Google Plus so that's a way to create a list on Google Plus let's jump over to LinkedIn LinkedIn in for free account it doesn't have a specific way to create lists but it does have a way to save searches so let's do a save search and create a list that way let's search for content marketing and see who shows up and see it gives me the selections well I want to know people I want to connect with people that have content and marketing in their name and it's showing me everybody now well I'm going to make that a little more refined so it's going to be refined to first connections and I'm going to also make it specific to the United States so I have created this list and you can see each of these people are connected to me on a first level and all of them have something to do with content or marketing that is in the, the description of their user profile so I can go over here and I can save search now in free account LinkedIn allows you to save three searches for people that's all and you can see I've got two other ones already saved well I want to go ahead and save this one I don't really want an alert on it 
I can leave an alert on there uh, if I want to. I can have them send me an alert monthly as things change on that list, weekly or never. Well, let's just leave it for the sake of example. Let's just leave it at weekly for right now. And it's going to create that list. I've just maxed out that list. But the thing is, I can use this to really do some wonderful things. I run the Content Alchemy podcast, and I can use this list to look for people that I might want to have on the podcast and interview about Content Alchemy, people who are creating content and kind of what they do behind the curtain. And you'll see there's some people on here that have already been guests on Content Alchemy. Uh, Martha Giffen has been a tremendous guest talking about social media content, one of her areas of expertise, and some other folks that are relevant to that conversation. Chuck Hester uh, has been on the podcast contributing marketing uh, and content knowledge around LinkedIn. He's a LinkedIn expert. So that's just a way that you can leverage LinkedIn search to create a list. Let's go over to Twitter. And Twitter is actually the king of lists because more and more, it's more popular to create a list in Twitter. And you can see this is my default Twitter page that when I log into Twitter, this is what I'm seeing. If you want to access list or create a new list, go over here, click on the cog right there by the search box and click on list. And that will open the page up and show you lists that you're subscribed to and it will show you lists that you're a member of. Now, the interesting thing is you can subscribe to other people's lists if they're public lists or you can be a member of lists that you're not subscribed to and you can be a member of lists without even being connected or following the person who puts you on the list. So you can see I've got a couple of lists. I have social media influencers. I have one which was kind of a test around what Chris Brogan was doing around a hashtag more better. So we want to create a new list and we do that right here right next to this end. Let's go ahead and create a list and let's call the list for the lack of anything better. We'll continue with our theme and call it test four. Let's make that list and then we're going to find people that we want to add to that list. And we mentioned Chris Brogan. So let's add Chris Brogan to the list. We bring Chris up in a search end and hit the search button uh, and we see the opportunities for Chris Brogan. Here's Chris Brogan right here. This is the one we want to add to the list. You click on the little cog next to the follow and we can add Chris to the list. And we just made test four. Let's see if we can add Chris to test four. And he's there. We don't need to create the list. The list is already there. We just added Chris to this particular list. So anywhere that you see this in search results, anytime you see this little cog next to somebody's name, let's Chris click through on this other Chris Brogan profile and you can see uh, there's that little cog. And if I wanted to add this Chris to the list, and let's do it just for fun and see see what happens. It uh, can uh, give you an idea there. Again, we don't have to create a list. It's already done. So we've added two people to that list. So let's go back over here to the list and let's see what's going on. So there's our test list. And if I want to see what's going on in that list, I can simply go in there and look and it's going to show me uh, that likely the Brogan Media ID isn't very active because the only thing that's showing up there is Chris Brogan. But that's how you do list and that's how you can monitor list inside of Twitter. Okay, let's jump over to YouTube and show you how to create list in YouTube. This is the default page that you see when you log into YouTube and you'll see there's playlists. These are lists that I have created and you can access those in a couple of different places. Let's go ahead and click on that and I'll bring up all the playlists that I have. And you also have the opportunity to make those lists public and private. So these are all lists that I have in YouTube. This one is an open list. It's available to the public. It is 25 videos that show things that I like, but we want to create a new playlist. So let's create a new playlist and let's call this playlist test five. We're going with a theme here and we'll go ahead and create that list. And what comes up is, hey, you've got a list, but you know what? There's no videos in it. So we've got to add some video to it. So let's add some video. So click that button. It gives you the options to search, to use a URL to a video or your own YouTube videos if you might want to add that in. Let's do the your YouTube videos because I want to have my digital content alchemy videos available in one place so that I can use that link to put out on my social media 
media profiles. Put it up as a link back from my website on my social connectors, that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and select that and you'll see that is now being populated with that. Okay, well we want to add some more videos and that's the easy way to do that. So we'll just go back and uh, there again I can add one of my own videos right there and put it in the list. Now the other thing is you can add a video to a list anywhere where you're seeing a video. Let's go over here to TED Talk and see what is going on with TED Talks. There's a video right there and let me open up the video like you're going to see it. You may hear it in the background but where you can add this to your playlist is go right here and click add to and once you click add to you'll see this drop down menu and it will bring up all the lists that you created there's our test five so let's go ahead and add it to that and it has been successfully added to test five so let's go back to our default page and see where that playlist shows up how it shows up so when I click on playlist now we're going to see a brand new list that's there and that brand new list is the one we just created test five and we can click on that and it's going to show us the videos that are in that list so there you have how to create social media list with this instructional digital content alchemy video and why would you create those lists well you save time it's a research resource and there's network growth for more information on the strategy use the link that you see close to the video to find more about the strategy on how to leverage the social list that you're creating meanwhile go create some lists go into your favorite social media networks create some lists have some fun and I'll see you in the next video.